Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about cutting back on magic spending. So previously I made a video saying I spend one to two thousand dollars on magic cards, which isn't like atypical for a month, especially if it's Modern Masters. Uh, Modern Masters spent more than that. What did I spend in June or July? No, it's not even July yet. <laughs> what did I spend in June? In, uh, a lot. Uh, Modern Masters was fun. I had a great time, but at two hundred hundred and seventy five dollars a box uh, it's still kind of difficult to to justify that spending on cardboard now that being said a lot of you say oh well you can it's an investment you can do that I don't view magic cards as a investment anymore I only view them as something that's fun um, something that I enjoy doing and I enjoy looking at and I enjoy collecting I love collecting magic cards and uh, there's nothing better than opening a card even like if I open a Dark Ascension booster pack and I get a Falia that makes me happy like is Falia the most expensive card ever? No, but C is a card I like a lot now my I'm cutting back my magic spending mainly because I need to like take I need to make the next uh, steps in what I want to do in my life um, and then this behemoth um, as a MacBook Pro, I had to buy lots of programs for it. Um, I also bought an iPad recently, a PS4, and a ton of anime toys. Like a ton. I'll try to give you like a picture, but one of them on Amazon is like $275, and that's actually what I paid for it because I wanted it. Um, as you guys know, I bought um, 550 books, uh, which my friends have taken X amount of books away from me. Uh, but at the same time, that's a lot of money um, for books. That's a lot of money for uh, programs and softwares and hardware. And that's a lot of money um, for my other hobbies are taking money now too. So when I look at Magic and I look at especially something like Battle for Zendikar, you know, Magic Origins, first of all, I'm kind of drained from Modern Masters 2015. And... That was not cheap. That was not a cheap set to go in on. And now I have Battle for Zendikar, which I am almost guaranteed to buy way more than even... I'm pretty much going to guarantee like one or two cases. At least one case, most likely two, maybe more. Uh, depending on if there's full art lands in it, uh, then yeah, I'll buy probably two cases. If there's something else in it, then maybe more. So, because I've had a very good experience with Zendikar in the past where I've just been able to buy fat packs of Zendikar and just profit. Like, the lands in the fat pack, literally, you can trade for $40 of cards or $30 of cards. Those fat packs are not going to be 40 bucks. They're going to be $30. I've never, like, purchased a fat pack at 40 bucks. Um... Maybe at like 32, 34 at most, but because I buy them in cases and I buy them online and I buy them from my store and I, it's like price matching like I'm Best Buy, right? So that's the other reason I'm cutting back on spending on magics. I, I have like speculations that like I would want to buy, but I haven't purchased them because I'm just like, nah, this is like $100 here, $200 there. I used to like just click buy, 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 but now it's just like, uh, you know, I need to save money for Battle for Zendikar, and I'm spending too much money on my other hobbies. My other hobbies are not cheap hobbies in any regard. Video game collecting is, you know, as expensive as Magic the Gathering. Um, it honestly is, and it's more difficult to move because they're heavier. And in anime figure collecting, wow, like I just, I got $450 of new anime figures just the other two days ago, maybe four days ago. And also my new website. Uh, my new website uh, costs money. My new developing a program for the website costs money. And that's not what I'm doing right now. And I need to pay people to do that. So at the end of the day, like there's a tremendous amount of um, things I need to pay for. And Magic Origins is not going to be one of them. I might buy at most like a few boxes. I'll go, obviously go to pre-release. I'll obviously open a box in this channel but beyond that, I don't think I'm going to buy a case of it. And that would be the first time in a long time that since Journey to Nyx, Journey into Nyx, I haven't purchased a case. I did purchase a case of Dragons of Tarkir, and that turned out to be very good for me. 
Fate Reforged, I purchased a case of two, but, you know, that was like iffy. That was probably not a good decision at the time. I know it did have, uh, it did have I pulled really, really good out, out of Fate Reforged, just very, very good. And in Contra Tarkir, obviously you have the, what's it called, you have, uh, I'm still buying cases of RTR, just for the long haul, just because it's, if you look at RTR and a booster box is $80, and you have eight friends, and they all chip in $10, you have a, a blast. You have a blast drafting RTR. Like, what else can you have fun? Like, Dave and Busters? Oh, yeah, Dave and Busters. If I spend four hours at Dave and Busters, I probably would spend at least, you know, $30 in food and drinks, at least another 20 bucks, at least another 20, 40 bucks in games, and that's it. And I win like, you know, stuffed Pikachu or whatever, maybe like one of these. And if I spend four hours drafting a RTR box, I'm going to have, in my opinion, just as much fun with my friends, and I only pay 10 bucks for it. And food and drinks, I mean, they're at my home, so whatever. Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, bye.